Last week I was going through the stash of model railway items stored in the shed. I was looking for some LED signals because I'm planning on making an Arduino LocalNet signal decoder. What I found was a couple of signals made by Viesman. And when starting to write some code I realized that I could do better than write code for only one specific application. This is why I started the development of an Arduino signal library. It enables us to reuse code and subroutines much easier by just creating instances of the library. The library will then handle all the pin mode setting and creation of the signal aspects. What the library also does is enable us to use it with different systems. We could use it for an ExpressNet, DCC or as in my case a LocalNet decoder. But you could also connect it to a few inputs and use some simple buttons to change the aspects. It's still in the early stages of development. I have tested it with a few German Fiesman signals and today I added a strobe class to blink a LED. I'm also thinking of maybe adding German railway crossing signals, who knows. It would be nice if people would fork my code from GitHub and add their own code to it. Let's have a look at the library and how to use it. To install the library, download it from my GitHub. The link is down below. Next, we will install the library in the Arduino IDE using the library manager. We will do this by just adding the downloaded zip file. We can also check the version in the library manager. At this time 0.0.5 .0 is the latest available. The library also includes a couple of examples. Let's open the example named stroke test. In the header you can read how to create an instance of the strobe class. In the example we have one called strobe light that is connected to pin 13. It will be on for 50 milliseconds and off for 150 milliseconds. In the setup routine we will initialize it on address 31 and turn it on by setting it to value 1. In the loop all we need to do is call its update routine so the timer is updated. When we compile and upload, the LED should start blinking. Let's quickly create a second instance of the strobe class on pin 12 and set it on for 100 milliseconds and off for 200. This time we will initialize it on address 32 and also turn it on. After taking care of the update in the loop we will compile and upload and now we have two LEDs blinking independently. Next, let's have a look at the signal test example. In this example I have created one instance of a Wiesmann 4011 and one of a Wiesmann 4013. One thing we do need to remember is that the address is the base address. The Wiesmann 4013 is a 4 aspect main signal and therefore it uses two addresses. Main and distance signals are treated as independent signals even if they combine both on the same mast. The loop routine will go through four different German aspects HP0, HP1, HP2 and the combined HP0 shunting one. The Wiesmann 4011 does not have the last two aspects so it will be skipped on this one. Use the comments below to let me know what you think of the library and keep an eye out for part 2 where I will be adding the local net part. And as always, 
like, comment or subscribe.